Welcome to Roast Beef, Episode 8. We're out here at Mile Square Park with... Scott DeSenzo. We're going to do some skating here, and then we're going to get our grub on. That account, they're making money. Yeah. <laughs> All those knobs, dude. Yeah. Dang. Donor bucket. Ah, ooh, yeah. I like shawamas. Yeah, shawamas are good. I'm not even sure if I know what a donor is. It's not a donut? Uh, no, like let's find out. I don't know. <laughs> let's ask the bakery. I've heard of it before. Yeah. Coffee, that's for sure. friend Scott here is introducing me to this spot. Yeah. We're in Fallon Valley, right? Yes. Nice. Right by Mile Square Park. Yes. So we go skate and come right here. Super of close. And after skating, you get a yep. I'm hungry right now. Check this out. I want you to surprise me. I eat anything. I eat, I eat anything. Cool. Don't tell me. I make anything. La, 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 la. Don't tell me. I eat anything. So we just go pick a seat right now. I eat everything. I like it. Maybe make it how you like to eat it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you.
what do you think your surprise food is going to be? I don't know. Be? I don't know. I can't wait to see what she's going to bring out, dude. But whatever it is, I'll eat it. Yeah, it'll I'll be good. It. I'll eat it. I can't wait. I love trying new foods, you know? Yeah, me yeah. too. Oh, here comes our food. Oh, our food's coming. Are we hungry? Oh, yes. yes. Awesome. Here you go. That's awesome. That looks like falafel, huh? And nice. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice. oh. Uh, plate. Yeah, I put the sauces on the side because I wasn't sure what you might like. Right. So this is a yogurt-based sauce, tahini, it's sesame-based, hot sauce, and we have a mayonnaise-based sauce. Mm. Okay. So nice. just try it out. If you like sauces? Yep, yep. How do you make the falafel? The falafel is a vegetarian dish. It's made with fava beans, chickpeas, some spices, onions. Nice. There you go. Nice. So, and what's my surprise? Your here? surprise is a uh, mixed dinner sandwich. So Ooh. we have the beef and the chicken dinner. Dinner is uh, yes. Dinner is the Turkish term for gyro, gyro. Okay. So everybody has their own uh, term for it. Okay. Turkish term. Yes. All right. And then I put all the veggies and all the sauces for you Ooh. because you said you were not picky. No, I, I so, eat everything. Yeah. Ooh, so, so what's in here? You said what's in yes, there? Yes, everything what is in there. there. It's a big sandwich. Can I open it? Show, um, show. From this side, maybe. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Wow, it looks tasty. This is like Turkish dinner. Yeah. 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 Turkish donor supreme. We call that supreme. <laughs> well, that's a good name. For it. Maybe we should change it. <laughs> nice. Right on. Cool. Anything else we can get you guys? Do I eat it like a like a hamburger, or do I cut into it? Uh, it's up to you. Some like to eat it like that. I can cut it for you, or you can cut it. Okay. Whatever you like. The, 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 the traditional way is just to it's like just ah. enough to eat it messy. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. How do you say thank you in Turkish? Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. Yes, good job. Right. You want any pita bread or any... Uh, uh, you might want pita bread off. Maybe, yeah, maybe a pita bread. Pita bread, sure. Please. Please. Okay, well enjoy guys. Let me know if you need anything. Awesome, thank you thank so you. much. Mm -hmm. Alright, so where are you from, Scott? Vancouver, Canada. Right on. British Columbia. Mm. Above Washington. That's not, that's, that's not the French speaking side, right? No. It's a whole other language over there? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I speak a lot of French over on the other side of New York. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right on. Cool. Yeah. Um, before you take a bite, who are your, who are your skateboard sponsors? Um, sponsors right now are Powell, Peralta, Skateboards, Red Dragon Clothing, Independent Trucks, Wreck Wheels, and Bones Bearings, Miami High Socks. New Balance shoes, OC ramps. That's everybody. Wow, good lineup there. Nice. Well, hey, let's, let's, let's take a bite here. Bon right. appetit. Yeah. Dude, this thing's huge, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna manhandle it like she says. I want they wrap it and manhandle it. Like, like this. Oh yeah, that's like a good in the way streets to start of it. Turkey, maybe they do this? Like on the, on the go food? Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would, that would be easy to eat walking down the street. Right? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I might try to mm. fit some of this in here. Yeah. I don't usually do it like this, but... This is heavy duty right here. Yeah. I only like to skate after eating one of these. <laughs> I'll be on the couch taking a nap. Both after a session. <laughs> yeah. How do you end the skateboarder? Me and my brother went to a summer camp and unknowingly we they had a skate park and rental skateboards and we uh in Canada? Yeah, it was on Vancouver Island called Camp Quanos and uh we just rented boards there for free. Oh rap. And then when we got home from the camp we got our own boards. Did you have your parents? Yeah, our parents got them for us. Oh, we want skateboards now. Yeah. They were a little reluctant at the, to get us boards, our own skateboards, but we were pretty persistent and adamant on wanting them. So eventually they 
were down and got us some cheap ones to see if the hype died down. Right. But uh, it didn't, so then they got us like pro quality boards. And we we're psyched on that. Do you remember your pro quality board, the first one? Yeah, yeah. From uh, the skate slash bike shop. Mm -hmm. And it was a Bones Brigade Steve Caballero board. No way. Yeah. And look who you skate for now. Yeah. Dude, how hyped are you, dude? Yeah, it's cool. I think Steve Caballero is probably one of your favorite skaters, too, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're on the same team, He's too. The best. Yeah. Dude, so rad. Yeah. Kind of this yeah. full circle. Well, yeah, right? Because you want to play on beat before, cool too. Graphic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was, damn. Yeah. Yeah, so but that was the only real brand name was just the board and then the rest was like action trucks and blank everything else. Yeah. But it was a pro setup coming from a skate shop as right. opposed to Walmart. So right, right. it was cool. Nice. Oh, that's so rad. We are hooking that thing up. Yeah. I don't like the, um, the burrito taco thing. Yeah, kind of transforming it. I noticed that. Like a lot of different cultures. They all have a wrap. Yeah, eh? Right? No? Is that spicy? These are, yeah. The banana peppers? Yeah. I think it's banana, I'm not sure. Wow. Yummy. Yeah. Woo! How about you? Where did you get your first board? Oh, hey. Well, the first board was actually, I think, made the neighbor's board. Oh, I did that too, actually. Yeah, and it was like one of those banana plastic boards that actually had oh. like roller skate wheels and trucks on it. That, that kind of style. Hmm. Just sitting on our butt going down the driveway in Jersey. That's where I'm from. We did that first, going down the driveway, then we started going down, down big hills. And then we started doing like the catamaran where you hold each other sideways and, and you're both going down. You hold, like, you put, on your butt? Yeah. But you put oh. each other's feet on sideways, you know? That's fine. <laughs> and then we moved to California. And then all my cousins lived out here too. They all had boards. I think they all had like towel boards. Mm. The fat ones, dude. Mm. They were fat, like 80s style. And then I started bugging my parents. Like, I, want, I want a board. I want, I want a pro board. You know, I don't want no whatever uh, cheapy board. You know, I want a good one. So I, I bugged them too. So my first board was Powell too. Oh, oh, Lance nice. Mountain. Oh wow. Lance Mountain primitive one with the, with the people running across. Looks like they're running. I was Dang. Like, it, was, it was hot pink too. <laughs> it was oh. like dig little hot pink. Cause like it was the '80s, you know. So that was, that was like the hot thing back then. Ah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Bring back some memories right there. <laughs> I, have to, I have to dig up that photo, holding that board. Mm. And post on Instagram. Flashback back Friday. <laughs> Way back Wednesday. <laughs> Go back Tuesday. <laughs> what, are, what, are, what other slogans are there? <laughs> mm. Yeah. One for every day of the week. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> How's your falafel? It's good. Good as always? Just like... Yeah. So, I'm digging this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I usually just... <clears throat> don't go with the falafel, but really she offered it, so... Okay. Nice. Need you know, a napkin? There's more right here. Uh, there I you go. Thank you. How's your food? Bomb. Good. Nice. As a new, gener this new generation would say, fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine is literally, is really fire in all the terms. <laughs> are you burning? Yeah, I need my nose. And the hot sauce and the banana peppers are getting you hot. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been, I've, I'm through with the banana peppers though, but there's no more. 
Banana One more? Burgers. No, no. <laughs> that spice is done with. <laughs> So like, growing up in Canada, what types of food did you eat, like, out there? Mm. My parents cooked a lot, so we'd eat. And they're like, Canadian natives? Um, yeah, both my parents grew up in Canada, British Columbia. Mm -hmm. and. We would always have family dinners together, and we would usually have a salad with every meal, like oil and vinegar salad, with whether it be like mashed potatoes and steak, or like a pea soup, mm -hmm. or some type of soup, or maybe like a beef stroganoff. Is there like a signature Canadian dish that every family eats out there? Um, kind of like, like you go to Australia, it's like Vegemite. Oh. <laughs> you know, the kids will eat Vegemite out there. Um, Vancouver doesn't, from what I know, I don't think they really have a signature dish besides like the poutine, which is fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Okay. And that's really popular more on the East Coast in Montreal and Quebec and mm. that side. More French influence? Yeah. Um, on, in BC, we're, they're also known for their salmon, I, believe, I think. Um, and pea soup is actually pretty Canadian, I think. But we never eat, ate much salmon growing up. But it, they're known for like just their like, real uh, diverse menu of like a little bit of everything. Like okay, they'll take a little bit of Italian, the Turkish. Oh, okay, because this is all types of people there. Yeah, a lot of immigrants from everywhere. Huh? Yeah, real multicultural. So it's kind of like the United States then. Yeah. This is a mixture of. Oh, rad. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got so, you. It's just a little bit of everything. It's okay. Because like, I've never been there, that's what I'm asking. Like, yeah. Now I understand. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's why when people ask me that question, mm -hmm. I'm always kind of stumped and I had to look it up once. And then that's what I found. I was like, oh, no wonder I was always confused because they don't really have anything. Mm -hmm. All they, they got everything. <laughs> it's hard not to eat it so fast, too. I'm hungry. You're inhaling it, dude, bro. Oh, dude, you skate your, you skate your butt off, dude. You, you got the skate munchies for sure. You worked up that appetite. I was on the sideline trying to relearn 50 50. You're skating. I, got, I pulled one, though. I was like, pull them After years and years of not having a real speed session, I'm happy. I didn't get hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, sketchy 50 50 on the ledge, but I did it. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not about what you do, it's about how you feel about what you do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't the best 50 50 ever in my life, but after it so long, I felt good. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'm telling myself, man, I'm gonna get back on the board like mm. once a day, maybe like half hour, just to get it going again. That nice. muscle memory going again. Yeah. I tell myself that, but then I end up being so busy. You know? Mm. It's hard when you have a family life, you know? Yeah, eh? Yeah, I can only imagine. <laughs> it ain't about me anymore, you know? When did you move to California? I uh, first moved to California. Well, I visited California for my first time after graduating high school. Maybe a year, approximately after I graduated high school, and then I stayed in Encinitas, I believe, for about six months. Probably the longest amount of time. That, that town's dope, huh? You like it, Encinitas? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, it was it's cool. like a small beach town. Mm -hmm. And then uh, went back and forth, probably. What do you mean? For a few months at a time. Were you like sponsored then? About to travel back and forth or something? Or you're just like. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, staying at the a Plan B house that they had over there. Mm -hmm. So. I, uh, they were flying me back and forth and putting me out. Yeah. So that was awesome. You are. Yeah. Fun times right there at all. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. grateful for that. It was cool. And wow. then, and then, uh, and then I'm, a couple of years later, I moved in with my brother in Huntington Beach at, uh, Lion? Yeah. I'm, I'm old. At a, one brother? Yeah. He's older than you or younger than you? He's three years older than me. And you're like three, three feet taller than him. <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> he might even be taller than me by really? like half an inch or something. No way. I always picture you taller than Ryan. Yeah, well, I grew faster sooner and then he caught up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Oh, nice. Thank one you. With no sugar. And one with sugar. Yeah, it's like a little espresso cups. Yep. Yeah. Do you like coffee? You. Yeah, I love getting energized. Okay, well, but this is, the, well, this is what you need. All right, thank okay. you. I'm awesome. going to bring you guys some mango. Oh, nice. Okay. Thank you. Pistachio or walnuts? Um, or one of each? Sure, one of each, one please. Of each, sure. Yeah, we'll try them both. Sure. We'll cut it in half. Yeah, first is coffee. Good. It's hot. Hey, cheers. Cheers to Turkish coffee, and Turkish food. Yeah. Oh, that's strong. Mm. That's nutty. Strong. What do you think about it? It's good. It's hot. I'm gonna let it cool down a little. Right. You drink espresso a lot? Um, no, not espresso. I usually make it in a French press if I can. Just squeeze it down. Yeah. Nice. Do you grind your beans yourself? Um, I used to, but now I don't. What do you, do you buy them grounded up already? Yeah. I heard like. If you grind the beans in one of the machines, you know, the bean grinding machines, the electronic one, most of them have too much heat in there, and it, it's actually cooking the beans and it's grinding. So yeah. then the coffee comes out tasting like really bitter, like mm. bitter and not good. Yeah. The coffee connoisseurs told me that. Yeah. On the last episode, mm. <laughs> they're a coffee connoisseur. They're like. Is that Norman? Yeah. He Norman. actually told me that also. Yeah, he already told you that? To him and his buddy. They want to get one of those Japanese presses. It looks like a giant science project. All mm -hmm. glass tubes. Start to the top. And it goes like... Oh, oh really? And then oh, like a cold food, I think it's called. Food. And it just drips. Like every like 10 seconds, you got one more drip. But when you huh. drink it, it's like crack. <laughs> Oh, yeah. for you. oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Are you guys familiar with Rotoa? Tell me about it. I've had it before, but I never knew what's in it exactly. Okay, uh, it's a traditional Turkish dessert. Very okay. famous in Turkish. 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 Yeah. Well, we always have the issue with the Greeks. Oh, yeah. Is it Greek? Is it Turkish? Right? You always you have know, a battle? It's, yeah, it's always a battle. <laughs> we say it's Turkish, so, okay. but it's a very thin layer of pita dough. Okay. Uh, some with both pistachio, some with walnut, and we have this special syrup put on top after it's made. So the honey or something? We don't use any honey to make our own syrup. It's uh, water, lemon, and uh, Oh, okay. Some, uh, I believe, the Middle Eastern and the Greek version, they use a little okay. honey, but okay. they don't use any ok
Thank you so much. Good. Dude, he inhaled Very that good. thing. Yeah. He, he, he was skating hard. He was, he was, he was tearing it up. He earned his meal today. He earned it, right? Yeah. You did it? I, I, I skated a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to try this first. Pistachio walnut. I'm going to walnut first. Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to. I wouldn't know. Too. I wouldn't need any sugar in my co coffee. Oh. You know, it's got the sweetness already. Yeah, these two go together nicely. So yours is going to pair out pair, pair perfect. Ooh, should I? Which, yeah, eh? Which one did you just try? Walnut. walnut. Oh. It's good. I'm gonna cut it in half here. Yeah, I'll get that one. Watch this. Let me take that knife though. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna take this one to go. Mm -hmm. feed, feed the kids tonight. Kids, here's your dinner. Is that your first time having a bucket of all? Mm -hmm. You got a quarter. Okay. Wait, first time at this spot? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Good. I think I like really like the pistachio more though. Yeah. I'll try that pistachio next. Mmm. That one seems more juicy. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh. More juicy, syrupy sweetness in that one. Mm. Real quick, what's the worst food you've eaten? Eating, eating, what's the worst food you ate? <laughs> uh, I definitely want to try the. Probably eating a lot of bad food right off the top of my head. Your worst experience? Recently, I had a Subway sandwich. Oh. It was just horrible. It was just frozen. What? The, the patty was just still frozen. Oh, yeah, patty was. It was a veggie patty. And is it, it just put a frozen one in there in your bread? Yeah. What? Yeah. Dude. Was, I, I I took it back and they microwaved it. Did they forget to cook it or something? I think so. They didn't, I think maybe the person was. Good. Yeah. They didn't know. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what was going on. I think it was somebody new and it was busy in there or something. So they know what they're doing. Oh man. Look at him crack a tooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was bad, but not that bad even. Yeah, the core was frozen still. Oh, yeah. So you, you eat mainly vegetarian stuff then? Yeah, yeah. No meat. That, has that been an ongoing thing or? Um, like a new thing? It's been like that for like four years. I haven't had any vegan four years ago, for about two years. I went to Europe and it's hard to eat and eat out in Europe and keep it vegan, especially with not knowing the language. So, and then we, I came back from that trip and it was just vegetarian. But recently I've been trying to be vegan again, but I don't stress it. Okay. What made you change your like eating lifestyle? Um, four years ago. Mostly just... I, I watched a bunch of movies, right? Uh, the topic, and that kind of opened my eyes. I had no idea going into all that stuff. And, uh... Like documentary movies? Mm -hmm. like that stuff in made. Informative. Like all that Monsanto yeah. stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Monsanto and, and uh, yeah, stuff along those lines. So. And now you want it to feel better. Yeah. You feel, so you feel better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was stoked. That's right. good. You yeah. should probably take up their diet and start doing some nose plunks on those ledges. <laughs> <laughs>
I got too much cow meat in my stomach, just weighing me down. Uh, I probably like walk like a cow. You, know? <laughs> you are what you eat, right? <laughs> you, you eat all your veggies, so yeah. you're probably like light as a feather. You know? Uh, I think I am. Dude. Yeah. Busted yeah. out today. Yeah, it's all this fun came through. No, no. I mean, the traffic was. You probably skated it when the traffic was probably its worst. But it still was fine. Okay. Good. Yeah. You didn't try the pistachio yet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I'm getting started to get wired off this Turkish coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like through like, my, my blood right now. It's like. Really? Yeah, it's like, like a brush. Mm. Oh, it's thick. Oh, nice cups and plates. Yeah. Well, I wonder if this is like Turkish style. Did you say made in China down there? <laughs> <It's good>. mm. <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> I like it though. It seems like it would be like a Turkish design. Yeah. I think mine's thick down here. Well, can I just drink that? You are. Periodically, you're supposed to swish it around. Um, you put some of this water in there. Okay, a little bit of water. Yeah. yeah. Let's swish it around. Yeah. Not your first rodeo. <laughs> Is that like coffee ground? Is that what I'm drinking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's different. Never had it before. Good though, a good different. I'm just trying to get used to that. That down there. <laughs> that down there. Yeah, the never ending cup. Right? Just keep on pouring more liquid in it. <laughs> now you're really going to be wired. <laughs> right? like, ah, let's go skate some more. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost got like a. <laughs> Is yeah. it really? It's yeah. like a sand consistency, kind of. Oh. Chalky, sandy. You'll see when you get down to the bottom. <laughs> you already know. You're, you're teaching me how to drink this. No, I just researched it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you call it? Knowledge at our fingertips? <laughs> so let's see. One more question. What's, what's the day in the life of Scott Nacenso? What's your routine, if you have one? Um, I don't really have that much of a routine. Every day is kind of a little different, but okay. I like to start with coffee and maybe an apple or a little piece of fruit, mm -hmm. if, 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 if any. Sometimes I just go without food until the afternoon. Do you just go straight skating or do you like yeah. go work out, stretch? Mm. Uh, Sometimes I like to do some stretching. Depending on how I'm feeling. Like if I'm sore, then I'll do some yoga or a little stretch and flow. And then uh, after that, I just go skate and then come home and make dinner. Alright, just chill. Yeah. Watch movies, video yeah. games, yeah. Uh, books. I watch a lot of TV. Uh, but lately I've been into books. Yeah. What books have you been into lately? Um, I've been reading this book called The Secret Life of Trees. And it's written by a German forester, or logger, I guess okay. the technical term. And uh, it's about how they communicate and how they, the symbiotic relationship and how they like help each other out. Really? Like they're social beings, so I'm into that right now. All right, nice. Is that like based on the true story kind of thing? Um, the logger? It, it's all like research oh. that's been recently, uh, it's like pretty new research. Wow. That uh, I'm out and it's, yeah, it's pretty new, new, new info. Oh, wow. Yeah, the author is Peter Wolven, and he 
articulates his research nice and easy for me. Okay. <laughs> so, or he dumbs it down for the human right. pop for most of, most of us. Okay. And and relates it to like gives the trees like a more of a human characteristics to wow. make it get easier to understand. Right, right. Oh, everything's connected. Yeah. So that's right. It breaks it down. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to read that when I get some time. <laughs> yeah. Or make time. I found her through an interview on YouTube about him, and he. If you don't have time to read it all. It's a 10-minute interview, and he kind of prefaces the whole book, and then if the book it just goes into more detail. Okay. All right. So I get a little snippet. <laughs> Going into it. Yeah. Alright. Fine. See if you're into it. Yeah. Right. Check that out. That sounds good. Yeah. Right on. You finish that? You finish that? You see? Never ending. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. still going too. <laughs> Diluted a little bit. Where are we going to go skate next? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so the, it's just with the new HB part. You ever oh. skipped that one yet? The new HP part? Yeah. You live right by it, right? I think. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, that place is awesome. Let's now. get the combi, the new combi pool, the reverse uh, one. I haven't skated it. I was there, but I just skated oh. the street. Okay. But they got all sorts of stuff there now in the bowl section. Oh, yeah, they need like a whole other section besides the new combi. Yeah. What do you call that? Like, a whole nother course. Yeah, some some other part flow. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Yeah. Cool, man. I'm full, dude. How about you? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Well, hey. Yeah, that hit the spot. Thank you for sharing this spot here with us. Eco yeah. Bakery and Grill. So delicious. So full. I think like, nap, like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take a nap, man. But maybe I can't take a nap because now I drink this. So I'm like, I want to take a nap, but I won't be able to take a nap. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm all amped on this too now, dude. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Right on. So there you have it. If you're in Fountain Valley, right by uh, Mile Square Park, come to Eco Room Bakery and Grill. We got some awesome Turkish food, coffee, uh, in house made desserts, baklava. Delish. Get some. Roast beef.